Hello everyone, it's Cody in here. Today I'm in Brookhaven and I want to see if anybody wants to like adopt me or something. And it thought it would be fun to see if I get a good family or like a crazy family. And no way, this guy's looking to adopt someone. Hey mister, I'll, I'll, you can adopt me. Hi. He, he looks really groovy. He's got like 70s glasses or something. Hi. Um, are you, uh, he said my baby. Uh, are you a nice person? Do I have a mommy? Yes! Who, is that my mommy? She's so pretty! She's so special! She's like, she's got a Louis Vuitton shirt on! That is, that, she's so fancy! But who is my mommy? You didn't answer me! Is that my mom? Dad, is that my mom? Am I gonna have a mom and a dad? There! <gasps> mama! She a fancy mama! Yay, I have a family! Oh, are we like rich or something? Cause you got like a Louis Vuitton shirt on. I know those. I know that's like real expensive and stuff. Do we live in a mansion? Oh, I'm so excited. boop a doo let's go. Wow, where do we live? Oh, this is our house. And look, my mommy lets me right in the front. Okay. Wow, our house is so big. Holy moly, now I need to test them out and see if they're like real chill parents. I want to eat ice cream, please. Let's see what they say. They say yes or no. Can I? Or do I want to like, you're going to make me broccoli. Okay. Oh, awesome. Not only are they nice, I look like daddy because we both have blonde hair. Woo, boo, boo, boo. Get some ice cream. Mmm. This is my kind of fun time. So good. Come with me. I'm gonna show you to your room. Okay, mommy. Oh, they even have a room for me. Holy moly. Are you serious? This is my room. I have a whole aquarium with Nemo's and, and Dory's. This is amazing. And I have bunk beds so I can have slumber parties with friends. Wow. These are like the best parents ever. I have a little table. I have a present for you. What is it, mommy? More presents? This room is more than enough. I have a present. I want a present. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, snap. She just gave me my very own cell phone. And my dad has a present for me, too. I can't. He gave me a tablet. Oh, my goodness. A phone and my own tablet. This is incredible. My own mom never lets me have any of this stuff. You guys are the best parents ever. Holy moly, I can have TikTok. My own mom never let me have an electronic device. Wow, this is so cool. Thank you. I'm sorry, TJ. I still love you. It's just for because these parents are real generous. So what are we going to do now? I want to go have fun. Can we go have fun? Please. I want to have fun. Let's go to the arcade. Oh, yeah. There's my wilding out dance. These parents are just so much fun. They don't even have rules. They're like the yes family. Like yes day, every day. This is probably not real safe that I'm sitting like this with no car seat. But I'll let it slide because we're having so much fun, you know. Um, okay. So are we going to the arcade or what? I'm getting a little dizzy. Well, hell, we are here. I'm gonna play this game and I'm gonna ask them to watch me. Because parents usually don't like to look. Look at me play. Yay! Okay. Mommy, Daddy, look! I'm winning! They're actually like amazing parents. I'm waiting for them to start acting crazy, rob a bank, be vampires, be spoiled, or be mean or something, or, or like abandon me. Wee! Look! Whoa, I'm racing! He told me good job! Oh, they're so nice! They really like me! And they don't know me, like they have no clue. They think I'm like a random person. I am a random person, but you know what I mean. They're not like my friends or anything. Or like they don't know, like they don't follow me or anything. And they're just like so nice. There's still nice people out there, you guys. Can we go to the beach now? You know, usually parents are like, it's bedtime because it's 6 p.m. Let's see. Let's put them to the test. Okay. They're the okay parents. They're just always saying okay for everything. Yay, let's go to the beach. I've actually never been to the beach here in Brookhaven. So it's probably going to be real fun. Even though it's dark. This is so cool. I've never been to the beach here in Brookhaven. Wow. There's like a campfire. And, and my parents even brought a cooler. Oh, Mommy, we have matching swimsuits. I'm going to use my floaty, please. Because I don't really know if 
I can swim this deep in there. It's so cute! Wow! Yay! This is so much fun! Mommy and Daddy swimming together. They're like really good parents. <laughs> Daddy, you splash me! Daddy never takes off his groovy sunglasses. I wonder why? This is the best day ever! Why is Mommy over there all by herself? Mommy, what's going on? How uh, about feeling a little tired, you guys? It's been a lot of fun. It's like 3 in the morning. Aw, oh, thanks. Um, I'm a little sleepy. Can we start heading home now? I love... Oh, look, we're taking a family selfie. Cheese. Okay, Daddy, that's a little close to the camera. Will someone carry me? Because I'm feeling a little lazy. I already put my pajamas on. Hi, <sighs> I'm tired. I wonder what we're going to do later. Um, I wonder if they're gonna, like, read me a good night story or something. That would be real nice. I'm still waiting for something terrible to happen. Um, would you read me a story, please, Mommy and Daddy? Okay. I'm telling you, they're like the okay parents. They never say no. Yay! Oh, my room looks so cool at night time. Okay, so they're gonna read me a story. Story time! Oh, Daddy has a story. Look, they're so good. They're such nice parents! Wow! That was a real nice story! Aww! Okay, I think I'm real sleepy now. I should probably get to bed, Mommy Daddy. Good night! Okay, I'm gonna go sleep now. Oh, they turned off my lights! Whoa, look at my fish tank, it's glowing! <gasps> this is amazing! This is like the best room I ever had in my entire life! Oh, my parents are here. Nemo, Dory! Is it morning time already? Whoa, time flies when you're having fun! Good morning! Good morning, Daddy, good morning, Mommy! I want some breakfast! Let's eat some breakfast! Because I'm ready to have fun again! I have a... What? I have... I have what? You have a surprise? Another iPad? Oh my god, maybe some AirPods? <gasps> that would be real cool. Or like a MacBook? Today you're gonna have a baby brother? Oh my goodness, or a sister? I didn't even know my mommy was pregnant. Okay, come to the hospital. Yes, let's go. Let me get dressed. I don't want to go in my cookie pajamas. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> okay, come on, go to the hospital. Yes, I'm ready, come on. Oh no, mommy. Oh no, she's hurt. Okay, she's okay. We're going to the hospital. I'm gonna be a big sister. But what if my parents are not gonna love me because they're gonna have a new baby? Oh no, I don't know if I want my parents to have another baby. I'm not ready to share them just yet. Wait, is it time? Is mommy having a baby? Why is she laying like that? Is she gonna die? Mommy, are you okay? I got flowers from mommy because she's gonna have a baby and that's what people did when... With mommy's have babies. Daddy, what if when the baby is born, you're, you're not gonna like pay attention to me? Kinda like how you're doing now. Oh, oh the baby's here. Oh my goodness, it's a baby girl. Oh, that's adorable. Baby sister. <laughs> I already have experience with a baby sister. Here's for you, mommy, some flowers. Mommy, why you lay like that? It's kinda scary. Oh, Daddy handed me baby sister. That's so adorable. She is really, really cute. She's adorable. Okay, uh, she's kind of crying. So, um, here you go, Daddy. You can have her. You can have her back. Yeah. Mommy looks real tired. Daddy, let me take a picture of you. Okay, with my tablet. Say cheese. Mommy, get next to Daddy. Cheese. Oh, that's a nice picture, even though Mommy's not really looking. Mommy, go next to Daddy, I'll take a picture. Oh, Daddy wants to take a selfie of everyone. Okay, let's do it. Cheese. Alright, I think we're ready to take our baby home. Mommy wants me to hold the baby and be a big sister, okay, I guess. And then Mommy's holding me, this doesn't seem very safe. Uh, okay. I guess this is one way to fit everybody in the front. I don't think... Oh, oh, careful, Daddy! Hey, there's somebody in our house! A burglar, a burglar! I'm gonna put baby sister in her crib. She's 
scary. She's trying to rob us. Aw, look at baby sister. She's going to sleep now. Baby's sleeping. Oh, I can't believe so much has happened today with my new family here in Brookhaven. And they're still being really nice. Um, but I, but I, I can't help it. I'm a baby too and I, um, can't help but feel a little jealous about the new baby. Because I don't want them to, um, come. Um, but I'm a little sad. What, what are we doing? Oh, my family wants to watch a movie with me and Vaughn. They do love me after all. Okay, we're gonna watch TV, okay? You guys, these parents were so very nice, but I still have a real family. This was just for the video, but they were so nice. I never thought they were nice parents in Brookhaven, but look, they totally were. This family is the best. Give them a big thumbs up because they deserve it. They're like amazing, but I do love TT and Baby Bloxy and Grandma and Every family looks different, and that's okay. But it was fun. And let me know if I should do it again. Maybe I'll find some crazy parents next time. Thanks for watching. I'm going to give my parents some roses. <laughs>
Well, I do, but I don't need it anymore. I've already decided that I'm gonna adopt Elsa. Stacy came here first with an appointment first, though, so it's only fair that she takes Elsa first. Hear that? That's right. I'll take her first. Now get out of my sight. Come on, Elsa. What's her problem? Like, why is she so rude? Well, I don't have to worry too much. There's no way Elsa's gonna choose someone like that over me. That's for sure. Welcome home, Elsa. How do you like the house? Wow, the house is so big and pretty. I love it already. I'm glad to hear that. Make yourself at home. Is there anything you want to do? Do you have any toys that I can play with? I love playing with toys. Sure, I have lots of toys you can play with. Let me take you to them. Toys are amazing! Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome. You can continue playing. I have some work to do. Wait, Mom, aren't you gonna play with me? I'm sorry, but like I said, I have a lot of work to do. I can't play with you right now. I hope you have fun playing with the toys. It would have been much better if she played with me too. Oh well, she must be a busy woman. It's fine. Oh my God, Elsa, what have you done? What do you mean, what happened? Look at the mess you've made. You misplaced all the toys and you even put scratches on the walls. What sort of behavior is this? I'm sorry, Mom, I really didn't mean to. I was just having a lot of fun. This is unacceptable. You can have all the fun you want, but you absolutely cannot ruin the walls and appearance of my house. Is that understood? Yes, Mom, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. As a punishment, you won't be able to play with those toys for the rest of the day. But, Mom, I said I'm... No ifs or buts. My decision is final. Also, lunch is waiting for you downstairs. I didn't do it on purpose. It was just an accident. Now I can't play with all the toys at all. I was having so much fun. Hey mom, is there any other food to eat? I'm really hungry. These vegetables and fruits won't be enough to make me full. There is more food, but I won't let you eat it because it's unhealthy. I can't let you eat too much unhealthy food. But mom, I'm extremely hungry. I usually eat healthy food. I only eat unhealthy food sometimes. It doesn't matter. I'm not letting you eat junk food. This is the only type of food you'll get. So you're going to have to get used to it. Seriously? I have to eat this every day. It doesn't even taste that good. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish your plate. Don't leave any vegetables out. You have to finish all of it. All right, I'm done eating my food, Mom. Well done. Now wash your plate and utensils and put them in those baskets in the kitchen. I have to wash them? Of course you do. You have to do your own chores around here, Elsa. But I do not know how to do chores. Then learn how to do them. The only way you're going to learn is by doing them. Elsa, just go in the kitchen and wash them. Can you please help me a little? I've never done any chores in the past. I really don't know how to do them. <sighs> Fine. 
I'm not going to do the chores for you. I'm only going to tell you how to do them. You still have to do them yourself. All right, Mom. You're finally done with the chores. Huh, took you long enough. I promise to do them quick next time, Mom. That's good. You can do whatever you want now, since you're done with your chores. Does that mean I can play with my toys? No, you can't. You can do anything except play with your toys. Mom, I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the walls of the house. It was only a mistake. And you're going to keep making that mistake if you continue playing with your toys. I can't let that happen. I'm only saying this one more time. You cannot play with your toys. All right. All right, Elsa, stop reading your book. It's time to sleep. Sleep? But mom, it's only 8 p.m. It's too early to go to sleep right now. I always go to sleep at this time, and so will you. You have to wake up early tomorrow too, so it's best that you sleep early and get enough hours of sleep. Why do I have to wake up early tomorrow? Uh, because that's how it works in this house. Now, don't ask me any more questions. Close that book and go to bed, now. Why is mom so strict? I know she cares about my health, but she's just being too strict with me. It's going to be really difficult to fall asleep this early. Oh, welcome back, Stacy and Elsa. I hope you both had a good time yesterday. Elsa is a wonderful daughter, so yes, we did have a great time. Of course, there are some things about her that could be better, but we can improve them together once I adopt her for real. That's great to hear. All right, Elsa, you will now be staying with Kylie for the rest of the day. When you come back tomorrow, you can tell us who you liked more. Elsa, there you are. I missed you so much. You both will be spending the rest of the day together. I hope you have fun. Welcome home, Elsa. Do you like the house? This house is much smaller than the one I was in yesterday. It's not too small though, so I still like it. Yes, I do, Mom. It's a great house. Yes, that's awesome. Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you have toys that I can play with? Of course I do. I have a bunch of them upstairs. You can play with them for as long as you want. I can play with you too if you want. Oh, really? You're gonna play with me too? Of course I am. It's more fun when you're playing with someone else, right? Thank you so much. Yes, it definitely is. I must say, you are very good at playing with toys. I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm having a lot of fun too. I want to keep playing like this. Sure, we can play for as long as you want, but we'll need to have a lunch break. I don't want you to stay hungry for the rest of the day. That's fine. Okay, it's lunchtime. Let's take a break now. Oh, but I was having so much fun. Don't worry, we can continue playing as soon as we're done eating lunch. Yay! All right, what do you want to eat? I'm in the mood for something extremely tasty. Do you have some ice cream? Yes, I do, but that's only dessert. What do you want for your actual lunch? Can I have a chicken sandwich? Of course you can. I'll make one right away. Really? 
Thank you so much. All right, the sandwich is ready. You can eat it now. Wow, this tastes so good. I love it. That's great to hear. Let me know when you're done with the sandwich. And then I can give you some ice cream too. You're such a fun mom. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll put the ice cream here on the table. You can eat it once you're done with the sandwich. I enjoyed the lunch a lot, Mom. That makes me very happy. Do you want to continue playing with the toys now? Or do you want to do something else? I want to play with toys. All right, all right. We're going to do just that. Let's go upstairs. Oh, wow, it's already 9 p.m. We've been playing with toys for quite a while now, huh? I'm sorry if I distracted you from work. It's fine if you're busy. You've already played so much with me. Hey, what are you talking about? There's no need to be sorry about anything. I was just having so much fun with you that I lost track of time. But we should really sleep soon. I want you to get enough hours of sleep. We'll play for one more hour and then we'll go to sleep. Is that fine? All right, Mom. It's 10 p.m. now. We should sleep. Oh, can we just play for a few more minutes? I would love to, but sleep is extremely important for your health. Elsa, I don't want you to stay up too late. We should sleep now. I understand. Wow, today was an extremely fun day. Mom is so much fun to be around. I wonder who I'm gonna pick. Welcome back. Did you have a good time together? We most certainly did. Yesterday was a lot of fun. Good. She's never going to see you again though. I'm going to adopt her. Well, that's up for Elsa to decide. Elsa? Have you decided who you want to be adopted by? I have, yes. All right, let us know. I enjoyed my time with both of you. Stacy really cared for me a lot. She wanted me to eat healthy food and sleep at the right time. I was a little sad that I couldn't eat anything tasty or stay up a bit later, but it was important for my health. But I think she was too strict. I only made one mistake. And she didn't let me play with toys for the rest of the day because of it. It's fine to eat unhealthy food sometimes, but she didn't want me to eat it at all. Also, she didn't spend much time with me. I was alone for most of the day, but Kylie played with me for the entire day. I want Kylie to become my mom. Seriously? Come on, this can't be happening. I was here first. She is mine to adopt. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we all agreed that Elsa would make the final decision. If she wants to stay with Kylie, then Kylie will adopt her. There are many other children here that you can adopt. You know what? Forget it. I'm going to find a better adoption center. I've wasted enough of my time here. You can now adopt Elsa. All you have to do is sign these papers. Congratulations to both of you. Yay, yes, yes. I finally have a mom. And I finally have a loving and fun daughter. We are gonna have a very good time living together. Hi guys, it's Titi. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would switch things up a little bit and become the little kid and get adopted. So I'm going to change up my look and make sure I look extra adorable. So hopefully somebody will want to adopt me today. So I am totally undercover and this is my cute little look. And now it's time to find a parent to adopt me. Can someone adopt me, please? I'm gonna try my luck here at the supermarket. There's a mom with her little daughter. So she's already a mom. She'll probably want another kid. So let's try it out. Hi, do you want another daughter? Cause I can be her sister. 
It would be so much fun. Please, look how cute I am. I am so well behaved. <gasps> she said no. Oh, well, there's only one thing left to do. I'm just going to cry and cry and cry till she feels pity for me and adopts me. Just kidding. Um, she doesn't really care. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. She said no. All right, well, I guess I'll just have to move on and find another family. Oh, I think the little girl feels bad for me. She said, oi. And her, I think her mom speaks Portuguese and I don't know, maybe it's a, a language barrier. So let's just go and try our luck somewhere else. All right, you guys, so this lady wants to be my mom. <gasps> but my mom, mom, why do you have a gun? Um, hello? Did you forget I'm your daughter? You can't just be having weapons around me. It's dangerous. Oh, these are her friends. Mom, wait up. Wait for me. She's just like running away from me. You need to wait up. I have short legs. I can't run as fast as you. Okay, I don't know why she wants to be my mom. If she wants to like run away from me and not take care of me. This is so sad. Mommy, you can't just leave me here. There's a lot of danger. Oh, I think she wants to put me in the baby stroller. Yay, okay. Well, at least that means that she wants to like me to keep up with her but you gotta get rid of that baby mom okay i don't think she gets the hang of it i know this whole mom thing can get a little complicated uh mom i'm not even in the stroller you can't just leave me wait up Jeez, i never thought i would be chasing after my mom i thought she'd be taking care of me instead oh no what if she wants to rob this supermarket or this like shopping mall she is up to no good Wait up! Mom, do we have a house? I'm hungry! I don't want to chase after you! Mama, come on! What is she doing? Is she buying me a present? Are you getting me a present? I hope you don't steal that! Mom, you just... Do you even want to be my mom? Oh, she's carrying me! That's a good sign! That means she actually wants to... Oh my god, what if she drops me? To the first floor, that would be so scary okay so where are we going now i am hungry and i'm tired oh these are her friends i feel like her friends are up to no good what are we doing are you driving hey i'm not even in the car yet and this is not even your car this is franklin's car mom can we just like have some bonding time <gasps> hey jeez it's so hard to find a nice parent here in brookhaven my mom is more interested in running around with her friends and robbing banks than being with me. Hey, who's who are you giving a piggyback ride to? You haven't even hugged me at all. Mommy. You haven't even given me any food. Are these your friends? Are you going to introduce me to them? I guess not. She's just having so much more fun. Hey, is this our house, Mom? Wow, is this your car? That's pretty. Oh, wait. I don't think this is her house. <gasps> She's trying to take the car. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? Mommy, wait. Mom, wait. Whose house is this? If this is not your house, then whose house it is? Oh, oh. Someone's saying... How did she get in here? This is not your house. We're totally breaking in a stranger's house. She is up to no good. Okay, why am I carrying her? <laughs> She's so heavy. Yeah, the owner of the house is... How did you guys get in my garage? Mom, I think we're going to be in trouble. Mommy, I'm scared. What if that guy calls the police? We're entering his house. Where did my mom go? Oh my gosh. Mom, I think she, I think she left. I think she left me behind. She escaped and left me here. How am I supposed to get out? Now everything is locked. Oh my goodness. I can't believe my mom would just leave me here. What if the police comes and I'm going to be the one that gets in trouble? She totally ditched me. Oh my gosh. She's actually outside with her friends getting in that car. And I'm stuck here. Mommy, I'm stuck. She doesn't even care about me. Look at her. She's like hanging out with her friends. And just left me inside this house. 
That's so mean. How am I going to get out of here? Oh, no. Okay, that's the owner. Maybe he'll open the door for me. Thank you, Franklin, you fool demon. Mom, you are the worst. How could you leave your little daughter inside a house that you were trying to rob in the first place? What if the police came and I got in trouble? Mama, you left me in there. Inside the house. And why is she always on her iPad? Okay, I think she's like trying to run away from me now. She's totally over me. At least, at least tell me you don't want to be my mom anymore. And this is an adoption center. She left, so she totally wants to give me a backup for adoption. I guess I'll just have to move in here or something. I'm just gonna cry myself to sleep. I can't believe I had a mom and she totally left me. She gave me up for adoption. Again. Well, this lady seems nice. She's telling me she wants to carry me. And she told me to come here. Okay, well... Her face looks a little bit mean, but we don't judge a book by its cover. And, uh, is this our... Wow, this is kind of nice. Do you know where my mom is, though? Like, whatever happened? She, did she just leave me here? She doesn't want me anymore? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so... I guess my mom just left me. She gave me up for adoption. <sighs> Why did she leave me? Hi! Oh, there's like fairies in here. Okay, so is this where I'm gonna live? I guess... I guess I'm gonna have to wait for someone else to adopt me one day. So I am now a roommate here. So this means I am an official orphan in this adoption center. Well, you seem like a really nice person. You seem like a nice mom. And she's trying to give me money? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, maybe this is for the better. Maybe this lady will take care of me. I'm not going to cry anymore. She said, wow, I'm going to show you your room. I'm going to show you your room. Okay. Um, I didn't actually know that I would get my own room here. This is awesome. Okay, where is my room? Okay, this is definitely not a bedroom. This is a bathroom. I guess I'll follow you. Is my new room upstairs? Oh, wh what was that? It's like an explosion or something. Oh, that is so cute. Am I going to sleep in here? Okay, I'll take it. Is this my bed? I feel like this fairy is trying to tell me something, but she's not talking to me. Since she's also an orphan here at the adoption center, I have been calling her sister, but I don't think she really likes it. Where is everyone? What's going on? Mom? Okay. Whoa, there's that guy. There are so many new orphans here. And what's going on? She's my new mom, so I'm obviously calling her mama. All right. Something is going on here. One of the fairies said that they're trying to trap us in here. It's not really like a nice and sweet daycare center. It's true. She trapped us in here. Help. There's no way to get out. I think that's what the fairy was trying to tell me. Oh my gosh, she trapped us all in here. Franklin says, kids, I will save you. But can you really trust somebody that is called full demon? I don't think so. Don't cry, fairy friend. We'll get out of here somehow, I promise. What is the fairy doing? Okay, this is so scary. I need to get out of here. All right, you guys. I don't know what to do, but... Everyone is trying to escape, and I think that... Oh, no! The main orphanage lady, the caretaker, just, like, collapsed. Okay, I'm either going to have to hide somewhere or find a way to get out. Hiding inside a bush won't work. I need to be brave and get out. Oh, one of the fairies got a ladder. That's a great idea. And they're escaping. Oh, my gosh. Wait for me. Wait for me. I'm also getting out of here. I am totally leaving. This was one of the scariest adoption centers I have ever seen. And I just had terrible luck with moms today or any sort of family, I guess. I'd rather be on my own out here in the Brookhaven streets than being with a criminal mom and an evil adoption center. 
So, I'm just going to... Whoa. These are not good fairies. They're bad influences. They just need to stop with all these... Okay, okay, I'm leaving. All right, you guys. This video was totally crazy. I thought I would find the most nicest family ever, but I didn't. So, maybe next time I'll have better luck. Let me know if you guys liked the video. Give it a big thumbs up. Tell me down in the comments what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Emily, you're finally getting adopted. How does it feel? I feel very excited. That's for sure. I've waited so long for this day. You'll only have to wait a few more minutes. The parents who want to adopt you are on their way. Hello. I'm here to adopt child. Her name is Emily. Oh, you're here to adopt Emily? We've been waiting for you. Please head over to the left and enter the room over there. All right, thank you. Emily, there you are. Oh, look who just arrived. These are the parents that are going to adopt you. Hello, mom and dad. All right, you just need to sign these papers right here and Emily will officially be your adopted daughter. Here you go. Congratulations, you can now take Emily to your home. Yay, I'm really excited! Let's go home! And we're home. How do you like it here? Oh, this looks like a pretty small house. It doesn't smell that good here either. Is this the house that I'll be living in from now on? Emily, Dad is asking you, what do you think of the house? Oh, sorry. I, c I didn't hear you, Dad. I think the house is really nice. I'm glad to hear that. I was worried you might not like the house. You see, we're a poor family, so we can't afford to live in a bigger house. Oh, so you're a poor family? Yes, we are, but don't worry. We're going to love you a lot and give you the best environment we can. That's absolutely right. So, what do you want to do right now? Well, I'm a little hungry. I would be very happy if you can give me some food. Of course! I'll start cooking right away. Alright, I cooked some food for you, Emily. Here you go. What is this? It's a salad. It's both healthy and delicious. I'm sure you'll like it. Oh, I see. Thanks a lot, Mom. The food doesn't taste good at all. I wanted to eat something tasty. Mom put a lot of effort to make it, though. So I'm still going to eat it. It's better than staying hungry. Hey, Dad. I wanted to watch a TV show. Do you have a TV here? Yes, of course we do. It's right in front of you. Um, that's the TV? It's really small, though. And it looks really dirty. <laughs> well, we couldn't afford a better one. Like I said before, we're a poor family. This is the best TV we could get with the mummy that we have. You can still watch any show you want, though. The TV might not look that good, but it still gets the job done. All right, thanks, Dad. Oh, man, they don't even have a nice TV. The screen looks so blurry. I can't see anything clearly. How am I going to watch my favorite show on a TV like this? <sighs> I can't even find the show that I want to watch. That's not good. Oh, hey, Emily. How's your day going? Are you enjoying your time watching TV? Oh, yes. I yes I am. So, why do you keep switching the channels then? Well, I'm trying just trying to find a good channel. I haven't found one so far. Oh, I know one very good channel. Here, this channel is absolutely awesome. Thanks, mom. I'll watch it with you, just so you don't feel alone. This channel doesn't seem interesting at all. Well, oh well, Mom seems really happy, so let's just watch it. 
Jake, Emily, come on, dinner's ready. Guess what you'll be eating today? Eggs and bread, of course. That's what you always make. Come on, Jake. I wanted Emily to answer. Emily, let me know how the bread and eggs taste. They taste great, Mom. Yay! I'm happy to hear that. If you want more food, even after eating this, let me know. I still have more eggs and bread I can make. I don't think I'll need any more than this. But thanks anyways, Mom. You're the best. All right, it's bedtime now. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, I feel really sleepy. Me too. Come, I'll show you where you'll be sleeping. That bed does not look nice at all. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have enough money to buy a new one. Is this the only bed in the house? Yes, it is. You'll be sleeping with Mom and Dad for now. Oh, I see. I know the bed looks kind of bad, but once you lie down on it, it's actually pretty comfortable. It's pretty hot in this room. Can you turn on the AC? Well, we uh, don't actually have an air conditioner, unfortunately. But um, don't worry, though. You'll feel really hot and sweaty for the first few days. But you'll get used to living without an air conditioner very soon. All right, then. Let's go to sleep. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. I couldn't sleep properly. It was way too hot and I had no space. The bed is already so small, but I have to share it with mom and dad. This really isn't working out. Oh, good morning, Emily. You're awake. I thought you'd want to sleep a bit longer. No, it's fine. I think I got enough sleep. I'll start making breakfast. It'll be ready in a few minutes. You can go brush your teeth and wash your face until then. All right, Mom. I really appreciate everything Mom and Dad are doing, I, but I don't think I can stay here any longer. There's no AC, the house is really small, the bed is really small, the food doesn't taste good, and the house isn't clean in general. I wanted to live in a better place. I'll try to visit the adoption center and ask them if they can change my house. Mom, Dad, I wanted to ask you something. There's this one toy that I really liked, and I think I left it in the adoption center. Can you please take me there so I can get my toy back? Oh, well, if you really like the toy that much, then yes, we can definitely take you there. Thank you so much, Dad. So when are we going there? We can go right now if you want to. Let's finish breakfast, and then we'll go straight to the adoption center. Yay! Thanks a lot! Here we are. Do you remember where you left the toy? Yes, I do. I'll go and bring it back. You can stay here. All right, Emily. We can go buy some things from the grocery store until then. Oh, yeah, you're right. Why are you going to the grocery store? Our fridge was full of food. Well, there's one specific thing that we wanted to buy. It won't take too long. Don't worry. Okie dokie. I'll go look for my toy. There you are! I've been looking for you everywhere! Oh wow, Emily! I never thought I'd see you again! How's your new family? And why were you looking for me? Well, I actually don't like my new family. Mom and Dad are really nice people, but their house is very bad. I don't want to live there anymore. So I was wondering if I can change my family! Emily, what, what are you saying? You can't change your family now, that's not how it works! Seriously? I really don't like living in the house, though. Emily, do you have any idea how much your new parents love you? They've been trying to adopt you for the past two years. Ever since they first saw you here, you obviously don't remember, since you were only seven at the time. They didn't have enough money to adopt you. So they told us that they would start saving money and adopt you as soon as they could afford to. Wait, really? They've been waiting to adopt me for two years? Their house might not be fancy, and they may not have all the money and luxuries, but they love you, and they're going to give you a loving environment. Money and fancy things aren't everything, Emily. And they truly love you. And if there are things about the house that you don't like, you can just talk to them about it, and they'll try to improve. 
It doesn't mean you should just leave them. Give them a chance. I'm sorry, you're right. I can just talk to them about the things that I don't like. They do love me a lot. I can see that. It's fine. Do your parents know why you came here? No, I lied to them and said that I left one of my toys here and wanted to get it back. Oh, Emily, go back to your parents. Give them both a super big hug and talk to them about the problems you're having at home. Be thankful that you have a family that cares about you. Many people don't even have that. Thank you so much. You're absolutely right. I'll go to my parents right now. Oh, it looks like they're still at the grocery store. It's fine. I can wait here. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. It's been an hour, and they still haven't come back. I tried calling them several times, but they didn't pick up. I hope everything's all right. Finally, they called back. Oh, wait, what's this? It says it's the police. Is this some sort of prank? Hello? Hello there, am I speaking to Emily, daughter of Jake and Melissa Rogers? Yup, that's me. I regret to inform you that your parents got into a car accident. They have been moved to Brookhaven Hospital. Oh my gosh! What? What are you saying? Are they alright? They are in critical condition right now. I suggest that you come here immediately. Oh no, that's horrible news. Which hospital are they in? They're in Brookhaven Hospital! Can you please take me there? Doctor, are they alright? They were in critical condition before, but they're stable now. They'll need lots of rest, but they will be fine. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you so much, Doctor. Mom, Dad, how do you feel? We feel better now, Emily. Don't worry about us. Why did you have to go to the grocery store? You could have just waited for me at the adoption center. We only went there to buy some ice cream for you. You said that you really liked it, but we didn't have it in our house. Really? You went there just for me? Of course. We just wanted to see you happy. Hey, where's the toy? You didn't find it? Uh, no, I couldn't find it. I think it got lost. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry, we'll try to get you a toy just like that. Thank you so much. But right now, you both need to rest. Also, I wanted to talk to you about something. Well, the truth is, I didn't really like our house when I first came there. I thought it was really small, and it didn't feel comfortable at all. But I know how much you both love me, so I don't mind it at all. I didn't really like the food there though, and I would have preferred a small bed just for me. Oh, I thought you'd like the food I made. Come on, Emily. I told you that you could tell us if you had any problem at home. Why didn't you tell me you didn't like the food? If the bed was troubling you, you could have told us yesterday or today when you woke up. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to make you feel bad. It's okay. As soon as we recover, we'll try to make things better at home for you. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. You're the best. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. I'm just really glad that nothing seriously bad happened to you. I got really worried. We're always going to be here for you, Emily. We love you. <laughs>